Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we're gonna make this anime lines effect in Blender. This effect shows mobility and motion and it can be used in scenes like... So let's make a plane and go to shading tab. With the plane selected make a new material, change the name to effect and delete the principal PSDF. Add a transparent PSDF and animation shader. Add a mix shader, connect both nodes with the mix shader and then to the material output. Add a noise texture. Enable Node Wrangler add-on by going to Edit, Preferences and then type Node. Click on the Node Wrangler and save the preferences. Now select Noise Texture, Node and press Ctrl D with Noise selected. Connect the object to the vector of the Noise Texture and increase the scale to 7, Detail to 5 and Distortion to 6. Add a separate XYZ node between Mapping and Noise Texture. The X or Y socket can determine the direction of the, of the lines to horizontal or vertical. Add another Noise Texture and mix them both. You can slightly change the values of the second noise. Add a color ramp and flip the shaders of black and white. I'm gonna use the constant mode to have sharp lines. Now connect the color ramp to the factor input of the mix shader. It still looks the same here because we need to choose the color for the emission node. Now press N and go to options. Change the blend mode from opaque to alpha blend and shadows mode to alpha hashed. Now you can see the effect of the transparent BSDF showing up. Turn on the bloom in the render settings to see the effect of the emission shader. I'm gonna increase the strength to 5. Now to animate the effect, in the mapping node you can input a keyframe in the y value of the location, go to frame 100 or the last frame of your animation and increase the value from 0 to 3 or any number and input another keyframe. Now press spacebar to play the animation. If the effect is slower or faster you can adjust by increasing or decreasing the y value at 100 frame and inserting another keyframe. Changing X or Y connections of the separate XYZ node can make the effect horizontal or vertical and you can use a value node to change the location of both X and Y at the same time. 